Heavy protests in Aba as woman demand for immediate release of Inamdekanu from detention. Good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this header that we got your ears this morning. As our header for this morning says that there's a heavy protest right now in Aba as woman demand for immediate release of Inamdekanu from detention. Well, members of the Labour Party LP Cactus in the South East House of Assembly have joined the chorus calling for the release of Inamdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Brafia IPOB. Well, in Abia, Abia, in Abia states, specifically in Isiama Afara Wuku, the home community of the detained IPOB leader, women organized a peaceful protest. They voiced their demand for Kanu's release, who has been held by the Nigerian government. This woman holding portrait of Kanu and singing protest song March to express their discontent within the with, within the with the continued detention of Kanu by the Department of State Services. Kanu has been in custody since June 2021, following his extraordinary transition from Kenya. Well, on charges of terrorism and treasonable felony, Sahara reporters has documented the effort of the Southeast Governor Forum, which has resolved to engage directly with President Bola Tinubu and the Nigerian government in a bid to secure Kanu's release. In a parallel development, the Labour Party LP representative in the South East House of Assembly have echoed the call for Kanu's release. These lawmakers believe that freeing Kanu would help distinguish between legitimate political dictators and criminal elements such as kidnappers. They argue that Kanu prolonged detention and inadvertently empowered criminal groups masquerading as freedom fighters, excavating insecurity in the southeast. The push for Kanu's release has gained momentum, with over 60 federal governments from various political parties and regions across Nigeria writing to President Tembu in their letter. They appeal to the President to exercise his powers under Section 174 of the 1910 Constitution as amended and Section 1071 of the Administration of Criminal Act, Criminal Justice Act 2015 to release Kanu from detention. They express confidence that such an action would be a significant step towards restoring peace and stability in the Southeast. Well, additionally, the legislators emphasize that Kanu's detention became a source of tension and unrest in the region. They believe that the release would not only implicate its followers, but also help the government address the root causes of agitation in the country in the South is by distinguishing genuine political activists from the criminal elements. The lawmakers argue, with, argue the government can better focus on imp improving security and fostering dialogue. The women of Isiama Afara Uku, the Labour Party members and the federal lawmakers collectively underscores the broad-based support for Kanu's release. Their actions highlight common sentiment that addressing Kanu's detention could pave the way for a more peaceful and secure Southeast. The ongoing effort to engage with the highest levels of government reflects a, con a concerted push to resolve the issue through potential and legal means. Well, and that is all we have for you guys concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that heavy protests in Abba as women demand for immediate release of Inamdekanus from detention. Well, we had it for me this morning, and if you need to subscribe, the best you can actually do right here and right now. If you that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Well, you had it for me this morning, and concerning this um, headline, it said that heavy protests have struck out concerning these Abba women demand for the immediate release of Ian Bikandu. These people were protesting because of the for, for Ian Bikandu's release, nothing more, nothing less. Yes. They all held play cards, like all held play cards, singing, dancing, crying for the release of Inam Bikanu. Like seriously. This is there you see that if Inam Bikanu is released today, all those problems that the South is suffering from will end. But I don't know why the government do not see, see things the way they see things. Just look at now, look at the video of all these women um, singing and 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 roaming the street just for one person to be released because the tension in that place is already too much for them to bear the insecurity in the air is already too much for them to bear the government is not helping matters yes in it all happened in abia states in the the isiama fara uku the home community of the detained ip leader where kanu is, is from gong 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 the women around that place they organized a peaceful protest 
they voice their demand for Khan's release. Yes, they they, they are carrying pictures of Inan Khan protesting, protesting, they protest for like hours just for Khan's release. Khan that was kidnapped from Kenya, brought to Nigeria to come and suffer. After found innocent of every charges alleged against him, after the court has granted him, after the Supreme Court has granted him bail, the federal government now went to go and do their thing. Now they don't want to release him. Now they don't want to release him. Well, like I said, releasing in the country is not even it's not even the major big deal right here. The major big deal of the federal government right now is to stop the, these Barafian people from succeeding away from Nigeria. And to get and the way they are using to do that is by holding them the kind of captive because they know that the people cannot just leave without the person has started it all now. Yes. Yes. And that this uh, this this alone is following up anger in the Southeast youth. Yes, that is why we hear all this report saying that um unknown government suspected to be IPB killed this army, unknown government suspected to be IPB, unknown government suspected to be IP, IPOB. The IPB youth are not happy concerning the way that in the is being treated by the federal government. Yes, his human rights has been violated. That one is that they they've done that one. <laughs> his human rights has been seriously violated. His right to a fair hearing has also been violated. All his rights has been violated. Everything has been violated. The rule of law has been compromised. The rule of law has been violated. The, the, the judiciary is broken. The um, judge is handpicking the judiciary. Then what? Then how can somebody win? The case. How can how can you can tell me how can you can win this court case when the whole federal government, even the judge, everybody's against him. They have used their money to buy the court. Then tell me how can you win the, the case? Well, I really um, commend. I really commend. I really like what this woman did concerning the reason and can, and can keep agitating. Maybe one day God will touch this federal government's mind in for to release him. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big red one with the notification bell. So anytime I have any new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. I have one for the eye of you.